Good morning, Mario. Okie dokie. Good morning, Mario, and good morning, Nintendo fans. It's bitterly cold outside today, so I've got some organic black licorice soothing tea to keep me warm, because I'm also a bit bitter that Nintendo didn't drop the Animal Crossing New Horizons update trailer today. Hopefully it'll hit later in the week, but we do have a surprising new Switch game just announced, further filling the March month and making you wonder, is a Switch Pro coming sooner than we think? A rumor indicates it might not be. Plus, Apex Legends, EA's newest Switch title, looks to be arriving very, very soon, and a big demo is hitting next week, so a lot of fun things to discuss. We're gonna get right into it. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Wars. Hope you're doing amazing. Hit that like button if you wanna help Mario recover from his latest debacle. That one seemed a bit painful and very, very cold. Well, what's not cold is that the March release month is heating up because THQ Nordic announced that their open-world Western RPG, Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning, is hitting Switch on March 16th. This game came out last year for other platforms and initially released in 2012. It was actually quite loved because it's a fantasy RPG, very Western, it began as an MMO, so there's tons of quests, but it is single-player, and they brought it back. It's one of the original IP that I think people fell in love with and wish would have gotten a sequel. It didn't, but what's really cool about Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning is that while it's just a re-release of the game with some prettier graphics, they are bringing a new expansion to the game in 2021, and they confirm that the Switch version will be getting that as well, which is super interesting. A re-release of a game getting an expansion after being dormant for eight or nine years. That's kind of unheard of, and it's super cool to see Nintendo acquiring another third-party title. THQ Nordic, of course, big fans of the Switch, putting their Darksiders franchise, among others, on the platform. It also continues to fill this Q1 calendar with so much Switch stuff. And initially, we wondered if the Switch Pro would be dropping in March, because there's the rumored Prince of Persia remake coming to Switch on March 18th. You now have Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning on March 16th. We know that Monster Hunter Rise is March 26th. Plants for Zombies Battle for Neighborville, the leak shows it's releasing on March 19th. And all of these third-party games coming in one week is kind of weird. It almost lines up too perfectly. And after the Bloomberg reports last August stating that, hey, Nintendo is developing and producing a Switch Pro, perhaps March seemed like a great date. It would be four years since the Switch anniversary. But at this point in time, I don't know. Launching something in March when it's already mid-January, that feels too far-fetched, and I'm not talking about the Pokemon. I do think that a summer or early fall release is much more plausible, and this weekend there was a leak from a famous Apple leaker, A underscore rumors 1111, who's called a lot of Apple product releases, saying that, hey, we're getting a Switch Pro, it'll be announced at E3 time, it's got a better screen, new Joy-Con, and 4K. Now the new Joy-Con part is incredibly interesting to me. We have heard that this might be the case with the Switch Pro, but do they do different things? Have different buttons? Are they bigger? How are they switched up? Is the rumble just stronger? The IR more reputable? How do they improve upon a Joy-Con design without changing the form factor so that it couldn't switch with other switches? I mean, you'd think you'd want a unified accessory system, a Joy-Con that could slide onto any Switch, and perhaps it could even if it was bigger, but I don't know how you improve upon the Joy-Con without changing the ergonomic factor. Perhaps it's as simple as having a better D-pad, a true D-pad, and that would honestly be a welcome change. But of all the things that have been rumored and discussed with the Switch Pro, the 4K, the better screen, the better battery life, I'm most interested in the form factor and the visual appearance of the controller and the system itself. How does it look? And what's the dock like? Same size? Bigger? If it's going to be powering the system in some way, where do they put that oomph? Again, they're just rumors at this point, but everything is pointing towards a Switch Pro putting itself on store shelves at some point in 2021, and E3 would be a wonderful time to release. My current prediction is a September launch because that falls in line with Nintendo's other new iterative systems. When they put out the new 3DS, when they put out the Switch Lite, September is just one of their favorite months to show off something new. So will any of you be picking up Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning on March 16th? Let me know in the comments down below. P.S. It's not a total remake a la Spyro Reignited Trilogy, it's more of a touch-up but it is $39.99, so that seems reasonable enough. Where the heck is Drake's album? This is not video game related at all, but 
where the heck is it? It was my most anticipated album of 2020. Said he was going to come out in January. It's the 19th, and we've heard nothing. Now, I know the dude had injuries. I know the pandemic causes problems. But where's the music? Where's the music? I feel like I haven't had a awesome album in ages, and I was counting on my favorite artist, Drake, to deliver. He hasn't made it happen, but at least the Lions are hiring their head coach. If triple-digit hour open-world RPGs aren't your cup of tea, maybe Apex Legends is. And we talked about this yesterday in terms of EA's coming Switch slate. Well, speak of the devil, a Japanese trailer for Apex Legends shows that the Switch version will be hitting on February 2nd, lining up with Season 8 of the game. And this seems pretty accurate since it's coming from the official Apex trailer. Looks like we're getting the game in about two weeks' time free to play, and it's totally worth trying out because it does bring in that Titanfall type combat, minus the Titans, it's such a good shooter. I'm not the biggest Battle Royale fan, but I have so much respect for Respawn, and I love that we're getting one of their games on the Switch. Bring Titanfall, bring Jedi Fallen Order, bring whatever you do next, but this is a start. Sources say it looks to be more of a shadow drop than part of a Nintendo presentation, but there still are a lot of games that would fall under a partner showcase, so I still expect something of the sort from Nintendo sometime soon. I really like this whole speaking things into existence on our show ordeal we've got going on here. We talked about how Bowser and his fury would work, and then it was proven true. We mentioned Apex Legends, and then it gets a date. What should we talk about now? Switch Pro? Breath of the Wild 2? The next General Direct? Sequel to Mario Strikers? March continues to strike because Balan Wonderworld is releasing on Nintendo Switch March 26th, yes, same day as Rise, and they confirmed we're getting a demo next week. Now, if you're not familiar, this is the game from a Sonic creator Yuji Naka, and it's a old school 3D platformer with a lot of transformations. It looks and feels more like a banjo game than it does a blue hedgehog game. There seems to be mixed emotions of hope and fear surrounding this game as everyone wants Yuji Naka to succeed with a new IP, but the genre feels like something from long ago. You'll be able to find out for yourself with a two hour demo featuring a level from World 1 and World 4. Frankly, I'm excited to check it out because I like to see how developers take these older styles and evolve them to the modern era, if they evolve them at all. Ukulele was always a fascinating game to me to see how a company would take a banjo type collectathon and bring it to the modern era. I'd say they didn't really modernize it enough, but maybe Balan Wonderworld can do even more. So that demo drops on January 28th, giving you something new, fun, and free to play as we wait for all of these releases to start rolling. That snowball is coming, and once it gets going around February 12th with Mario 3D World, it's not going to stop for months. Let's take a moment to just give you a Zach temperature reading, because three of my most anticipated games of 2021 are hitting Switch in the next two months. I'm insanely excited for 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, you already know that. Little Nightmares 2 hits the same week, and I think that game is going to surprise the heck out of people and should be up for Indie of the Year. It's going to be a battle for the ages between that and Hollow Knight Silk Song if that game does in fact come out, which it should, it should. I think those games are going to both be amazing must-plays. And then Monster Hunter Rise, March 26th. There's all these other titles dotted in there, but the next couple months on Switch are going to be more packed than nearly anything we saw in 2020, and that's such a good start. So I've got insane enthusiasm for the coming releases, and then more because I'm just always hopeful and idyllic. I feel like if this is the start, just wait for the fall. That's where Nintendo loads up and I can't even imagine what they've got cooking. We've started to see glimpses of the Pokemon anniversary. The DK rumor is where it's at. I've seen some people say DK RPG, and then Davi Day from Ubisoft liked a tweet about it. Are they working on a new Mario plus Rabbids for the anniversary? Are we gonna get that 2D DK game from Nintendo internal? My heart is waiting. And then what's the big game? Is it just the Pokemon remakes? Is there Mario Kart 9? Does Breath of the Wild 2 deliver? And how do they slot in the Switch Pro? I'm telling you, this year is going to sizzle and it's going to be so fun to share together. Well, that'll do it for another episode of Good Morning Mario. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and hope you're having a great week as we move towards Wednesday. When will Animal Crossing New Horizons drop? 
the update seems inevitable. I've got you covered. Make sure to hit that like button if you want to help Mario recover from his fall. And if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments down below. Picking up Kingdoms of Amalur, waiting for Apex Legends, excited about the Balan Wonderworld demo. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, everybody, thanks so much for your support. I love you a lot. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart out there. Switch Force, out.